Hey kids, today for Fun Time Friday, we're going to be putting together a trampoline for lots of bouncy summer fun. To start our very own trampoline park, we're going to be replacing this for this. So grab a snack and sit tight as we put together this incredible source of bouncy fun. Welcome to My Dad's Toys, a channel for education, motivation, inspiration, and creativity for you growing youngsters. Now let's go have some fun! And this is what we're working with here to start off with. Look at that, this is a damaged, damaged trampoline. Oh, this is bad. This is bad! Would you look at that? It's already been disassembled. Look at that hole in the middle! There's no jumping on this. All right, this is what we're working with here is a very destroyed trampoline. So the first thing we need to do is clean this mess up. You ready? Let's get to it. Just watch as I gather all of the poles, the extra poles from around the yard, lifting up the heavy trampoline to get the ones underneath the mat and toss them into a pile. Now that we have all the metal pieces collected, we're going to take those and put those in the disposable bin. Ugh, man, these poles can be heavy. And now, the last part of this is to get the actual trampoline out of the way. Let's go. Look how huge that trampoline pad is, man. It is huge and quite heavy. <sighs> Whew. That took a lot of work. Now that we have the actual trampoline out of the way, now it's time to install the new one. I'm going to show you that right now. We're going to be replacing our old trampoline with one of very similar, a 14 foot trampoline. It had safety nets on the outside to keep your kids from falling off. And it also has a safety pad, like most trampolines, to protect you from the springs. It's ASTM certified for safety. Safety first, kids. Alright, now that we have the trampoline in place, the box itself, now we're going to start assembling for real. Alright? This thing is heavy, you hear me? This is about 250 pounds, it feels like, trying to move it from the porch to the position it is now. Now we're ready, let's go. We're gonna be using these scissors right here to cut open the straps off of this box. And kids remember, whenever you're using scissors or anything sharp like this, make sure there's always a parent around to supervise you to make sure no one gets injured. We always wanna be safe, okay? And rule number one, stay safe. Let's go have some fun, let's get it. Here we have to take our scissors, slide it underneath these straps, and cut them just like that. Now for the second one, look at that. Watch as I try to lift this box open. Look at there. These are safety instructions. It's led by a warning sign. You wanna make sure you follow these instructions. Be careful not to flip on the trampoline. Be careful. Adult supervision guys, safety first, always. Inside of this package has everything we need to know. You have some warranty registration stuff. Be careful stuff more warning stuff trampoline safety like the last thing the instructions there's a safety mat to protect us from the springs it's huge it's huge we're gonna place this over here look at all of this these are the pipes that are used to hold the net up I'm gonna take all of these pipes out and set them over here on the side, like this. And here's the net. It's pretty big, isn't it? Next up is the trampoline pad. Nice and sturdy for you to jump on. Trampoline pad, right here. Here's our tools. And all of our equipment that we're going to be using to seal this thing together to make sure it's nice and tidy and safe for us to jump on. 
In all of these boxes, we have all the metal pieces and springs that we're gonna use to secure it as well. All right, the only thing we have left in the box now are the poles that I use to hold the trampoline up. As you can see here, look at all of that. <laughs> There's just so much stuff in this box. We're gonna tilt open the plastic just like that. Make sure an adult does this. Cutting open all the boxes to reveal the pieces inside that we need. Now we're taking out all of the poles and positioning them in place so when it's time to put everything together, they'll already be where they need to be. Now it's time to start connecting all the pieces. You have to be careful when connecting each one of the pieces as to not squeeze your finger. Whoop, it fell. Here we're going to continue connecting all the pieces on the ground of the frame together. That way we can complete the frame. And after that, we're going to connect the upper portions of the frame to make sure it's complete. All right, kids, the trampoline frame is almost complete. We're just gonna simply make sure everything is nice and tight, and then we can move on. Hooray, congratulations! We're finished. Now it's time to secure the bolts. We're gonna go all the way around and tighten up every single screw all the holes that we just showed to make sure the trampoline is secured and the legs are attached to the frame appropriately. Now for the last one, and we'll be done. On to the next app. Now that we have the frame assembled, the next step is to get the net put up with all the springs. So this is gonna take some work. We're gonna to have to align all of the springs on the edge around, around the edge of the mat and connect them with the frame of the trampoline. Let's get to it. Let's get back to it. And now it's time for us to take all of these pieces out of the plastic container and use our claw to connect our springs to the mat and connect it to the edge of the frame. Just look at our claw, you see it? This is how you have to grab it. Now we're taking the trampoline mat out of the plastic bag. Then we're gonna spread it out over the ground inside of the trampoline frame so when it's time to connect the springs to the mat and the frame, everything will already be in place. This process takes quite a while, as you have to go around the trampoline a couple times to make sure the mat is evenly distributed amongst the tension of the springs. Can you see the trampoline mat starting to come together now? It's flattening out. Here you can see me grab the spring, put the hook inside of the inside loop of the spring, and then pull it tight to secure it in the hole of the frame. See that? Grab it, hook it, and pull it. There you go. 
all right guys now it's time to assemble the poles for the frame onto the frame that's going to hold the net up and we're going to do that right now this part takes some concentration as you're dealing with tiny screws and you have to put them inside of the holes to make sure everything is secure Here you can see me grabbing the screws, turning it clockwise to secure it, righty tighty lefty loosey, pulling it tight, now we're good. And as with every step, we're going to continue this all the way around securing every one of the poles. All right. Now that we've finished tightening up these poles right here for the support net, now we're going to attach the upper part of the support poles, put the screws in there, and then we're going to put the net up, tie it down, and then we'll be finished. All right, let's get to it. All right, now it's time to secure the plastic cap onto the top of the pole that holds the safety net up. We're going to take this tiny screw and put it inside of that hole, twist it tight, that way we'll secure the plastic cap to the pole. Once done, we're going to complete this for each one of the poles that hold up the net. All right, now it's time to attach the nets to the upper parts of the pole, secure the poles on the, the bigger poles on the smaller poles. Then we're gonna tie down the rim around, the protective coating around the springs. All right, here we're gonna take the plastic clip on the top of the safety net, unbutton it, place the strap through the loop of the plastic cap, Then we're going to rebuckle the clamp, then pull it tight, just like that. Once completed, we're going to do that for each one of the poles all the way around the mat. Now that we finish, we're going to step onto the trampoline and bring all of the poles up and attach the upper pole to the lower pole to make sure the safety net stands all the way up. Now that we've got that part, we're going to take this tiny screw right here and we're going to put it inside of the hole that secures the upper pole to the lower pole. Alright guys, one more step is to tie this net down and to tie the protective seal around the springs and we're finished. Time to jump baby, time to jump. We're going to use this string right here to wrap it around the inside of the springs and weave it through the netting, the protective netting, in order to secure it down. Then we're going to use these straps right here to secure this padding onto the inner spring and the outer frame. That way it'll keep the protective padding from sliding when the trampoline is in use. With this part, we have to make sure that we're securing the net properly to the springs to make sure there's no gaps in the bottom of the net that would allow someone to slip through. Pretty soon, our trampoline park will be completed. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of My Dad's Toys, a fun time Friday and building a trampoline. You guys enjoy your weekend and don't forget, let's have some fun. Would you look at Al enjoying himself on the edge of the trampoline?
thank you guys for tuning in to helping us build our wonderful trampoline park for the summer. Until next time, no have flip. some fun! No flip. Hey guys and gals, if you liked what you saw today, do me a huge favor and smash that like button. Also, you can join the My Dad's Toys community by subscribing, then be sure to click that notifications bell so you never miss an upload. Until next time, take care, and remember to go have some fun!